You are still watching Ways now. Each year on April 8th, National Zoo Lovers Day encourages us to explore our local zoos. Each year, millions of people visit zoos and learn about the many animals that, are, um, that live there, also known as um, zoological parks. Many of them serve as breeding centers. And these facilities are relied upon when species are endangered or at risk of becoming endangered. They also provide education to the public about a broad variety of animals, their habitats, and as we celebrate this day, we celebrate this day rather by going to our favorite animal, um, to see our favorite animals, whether those that are swinging or those that are splashing water or just chilling. Ah, I remember my first experience in mm. a zoo in London. It was so beautiful. My mother mm. refused to enter. <laughs> <laughs> my mother saw an owl. You don't say owl and Mothers with Benin no. mothers, now it, which is it has a spiritual <laughs> connotation. That's the problem. Oh, and yes. then guess what? It was a big owl, white, with big and it was just twisting its head 360, 360. My mother said, <laughs> My first experience with the zoo was at Ogba Zoo when I was a little child mm. in uh, Benin. And back then, I, I can remember this lion. The lion looked very fierce mm. and we had fangs. The fangs were so sharp. And all I kept looking at was the fangs, not even the lion. Mm. I think it, it was a, an interesting experience for me. And I think I've held on to that memory for a long time. But today, we do not go to the zoo anymore. My own yeah. experience of it was when I was also very young. My mom drove us from Lagos to Joss. Hmm. Back in those days. Oh, I can anybody try it out again? No. Hesman. By the way, we went to Yankari Gums um, Game, Game Reserve. Reserve. Ooh. I remember that journey. Mm. We always talk about that journey till today. Mm. Those memories. But yeah, and those are memories that never leave you. Yeah. Absolutely. It never leaves you. That's why absolutely. I try as much as possible for my children to have to make memories. it memorable yeah, for them. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. talking about memories, what happened to you? You came in late today. <laughs> oh, I, I I did not say it. I didn't. I you didn't even know you were on shadow. Quarter to seven. I just scrolled through and I saw my picture on the. I was like, I have to take a double take. Like, I'm for real. Oh, this so I went to the shadow and I saw it and I said, Jesus. So I just gave up and said, and at that time I had not had my bath. I, today was my cooking day. I just specifically chose today to cook because my daughter is on holiday, so yeah. I don't really live at home. Mm. So I work from home now. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Hey, I said, so I just gave up. Then Mr. Eric called me mm. and said, do you know you're on schedule? Do I wait for you so we can drive back home? Ah, he said, I'm going to disappoint Mr. Eric. I'll disappoint Uwa. <laughs> and I, I don't like Zoom. That Zoom said I really don't like it. I said, you know what? On the dot of seven, I just changed my mind, just went to Google Map and he gave me 30 minutes. I said, okay, fantastic. Let me the kind of James Bond I can do. <laughs> I will be here. Well, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Because it's an interesting conversation. Oh, yes. And then we can, can break can it down. Can break it down. Oh, yeah, down. we don't uh, have time. Uh, uh, Quickly. Mm. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, it in was about, um, mm. was an event, I think, yesterday or today, mm. that involves the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. And the crux of the old gist was, um, local government autonomy. They were advocating for local government autonomy. And that really, really, really hit me because part of the problems we have in Nigeria today is because of the lack of autonomy of the local government. Mm -hmm. If you go into the constitution, you see the number of roles that local government is supposed, supposed to, to have. Primary health care, education, mm -hmm. roads and all that. Hey, quite a number of roles, of duties, but because they don't have financial autonomy, they are, they are just like an appendage of the state government, but they are not. Mm. They are a separate and independent tier of Entity. government. Mm. If we say we are practicing federalism, let us practice true, true federalism. federalism. Mm. If, 700 and, if we have 774 active local government chairmen in Nigeria, mm. Nigeria will be a better place to be. Absolutely. Because most of them are picked from the grassroots. Mm. They understand you know, the terrain, they and the, the, the unique are, challenges within, within their the community. But they don't have financial this, autonomy. Yes. Mm. All their resources now is channeled through the state government, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Mm -hmm. And most state government give it to them in piecemeal. Hmm. Hmm. And they can't even do anything. When you ask a lot of them, why is this road and all that not done? They said it's the state government. Hmm. All the 30 state governments in Nigeria are all indicted. Hmm. They are all complicit. Fantastic. We're going so to talk happens, about it. So what that happens to the funds that they always, um, NURT, whatever? Collects on the road. The local government, all yes. those. Because, because the, the, the but all of them are also corrupt too. Yes. Because if when the head is 
rotting. Mm -hmm. What can the body do? It cascades mm -hmm. down so to the complicity in bottom. This. Mm -hmm. But I think we should also, as citizens, be very active in the next election yeah. cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. We start from the local government election. Absolutely. We must all take responsibility. And vote in the right person. Yes. Okay, so I Isi, quickly. <laughs> made up my mind I will talk about federal government of Nigeria today. I want to do apropoism today. So, <laughs> okay. so my story is um, police arrest a prophet for allegedly raping a 17-year-old girl in church. Mm -hmm. my, my, what, what actually happened was that the victim said that Mr. Shobawale invited her to the church for prayers and took advantage of her while he was alone with her mm -hmm. in church. The key my thing, question is, how did a 17-year-old, what did she go to do alone? It, she was going to have spiritual bath. Now Parents. the spiritual, the spiritual. Now listen, the spiritual bath mm -hmm. wasn't the, the problem. After the incident had happened, the dastardly act had been done to the girl. That was when the mother had Einstein brain to escort her to um, what's it called to the police station. Why didn't she escort her to the uh, place to, do, to have Why the spiritual bath? The, no, most of the time this, they brainwash these people mm, and they, they tell them to send your daughter to come alone. Yeah. I, have, I want to, probably and the girl of was they trust those people. Why do you even then, trust most of the time? Man. You know, teenagers, maybe mm. she's having problems at home and all that, and they feel the next thing is instead of taking her to a therapy, they'll take her to church. Mm. And the pastor will take her to situations advantage. where okay. a woman is looking for a child and the woman goes to the pastor and the pastor says, You a come to wait now. The say come to the church and come for spiritual blessing and mm. in fact the man will give her spiritual blessing mm. in quote <laughs> so in the process who will you blame mm. look it's not about no, the, I blame the people not, it's not in about position the position of trust. it's not about it's not about the it's not about the fact that she went there is the mindset of her be, being left alone by her mother in the first place i okay. would blame sorry mm. i would blame the prophets I blame the pastor that take advantage because they are in a position of trust. In the final, you say, if I do somebody, if somebody, I think we talked about, think we talked about yes, this um, during positions. the week when we said something yeah. about first, we should remember first and foremost that men of God are men first, first before, before they are men became of men. No, I, okay, I, so I, let I me beg take to disagree. So bearing this in mind, I beg to disagree. should we bring it as a topic for mm -hmm. another day? Yes, I will next bring week. It. All right, so Lagos State Police Command has deployed personal um, secu um, security to beef up security around the police um, formations and the correctional facilities in the state to prevent attacks leading to jailbreaks. So this is just mm. being proactive, and I, I just wanted to commend Fantastic. them. Yeah, and to say this is a commendable thing. This Fantastic. is what we should be hearing now, all the exactly. state government doing, Emulating deploying them. and beefing up security. We already know that it's looking like it's a trend now mm -hmm. for jailbreaks to be happening. So let's get them the ball rolling. Absolutely. That's, so all of these things that people are talking about today is not what we're talking about. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we're going to be having our conversation around men abandoning children. Stay with us. We'll be right back.